A warm welcome to you all at home for today's Azerbaijan Grand Prix, a race that in its short history has already proven no stranger to drama, and where a fourth row start is just about as likely to give you a podium as pole position, with Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez finishing third from there in 2017 and 2018 respectively. It's 3.7 miles around a lap of Baku's city circuit, seven rights and 13 lefts, giving us a total of 20 corners. Watch out for a safety car today. Incidents are already common on this circuit and the wet conditions will only make things worse, particularly through the incredibly narrow turn eight. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Lando Norris and Leclerc, Russell, Ricardo, Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly, Bottas, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel and Ocon, Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Lance Stroll and Kevin Magnussen, Joe Albon, Oscar Piastri and Iceman. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Not one of the easiest days to go racing. It's damp, it's slippery, there's dark clouds as far as the eye can see. The rain is here then, and that's going to take away a lot of the grip. Anthony Davidson, that's going to make turn one very interesting indeed. Yeah, it's these kind of conditions where you can go in with one of two mindsets. You either see it as an opportunity, or you're worried that all of your hard work's about to be undone. We've been stuck in these conditions now for a few hours, more or less this kind of intensity, so we don't seem to have too much standing water, so we're not likely to be starting behind a safety car. And like you say, Crofty, the charge down into Turn 1 will be quite interesting. I think we're in for a cracking Grand Prix. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
an end to this rain in around five minutes. Inters look like the best tyre for now. seconds. Fastest tyre for now.
strategy available on the MFD. OK, copy that. Let me know you're okay. And so ends another Azerbaijan Grand Prix. A fascinating race and a well-deserved victory. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. So let's review the driver's standings. Max Verstappen now leads the driver's championship. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. It's time to check out the constructors' standings and Red Bull take over as championship leaders. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very soon.